buongiorno. Ching 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 ching. Hello, hello, hello. It's episode eleven. Episode eleven. Episode eleven. It's more delicious heaven. <laughs> oh, welcome, 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 welcome to yet another, yet another, yet another podcast. Oh, this is episode 11 oh, of this mindless drivel, which I hope everyone is enjoying because I'm, I'm having a blast making it. Oh, I am, I am, I am. Oh, hang on. Who's this? Debbie! Debbie, 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 Debbie. Hello, my darling Debbie. How are you? What what are you trying to what are you trying to tell me, Debbie? <coughs> What's that, Debbie? Don't the lovely Doreen suck at a well. Oh <laughs> we're getting in the realms of Skippy there. <laughs> oh Debbie communicating that the lovely Doreen is trapped, trapped. I don't think she is. Ah! Here she is. Hello, the lovely Doreen. How are you? Ah, oh, haven't seen you for yonks, my darling, my darling. Haven't seen you for yonks. And where is the lovely Bernard? I, I saw you with a, um, a lady friend last night. Oh, oh, hang on. Is that... Is, oh. <laughs> oh. Is that Bernard? Oh, dear. Was he wearing that two-piece? With the pearls? <laughs> oh, dear. Those shoes don't suit him. Do, do, do you know that? Those shoes do not suit him. And Anne telling me seam wasn't straight on his stockings. Quite appalling. All the hair sticking out through the stockings. Oh, 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 oh sorry, sorry, Doreen. Oh, what's up? What's the matter, Doreen? You, oh, you're not upset about it, are you? Oh, Bernard loves you. Come on. He's just exploring the, the, the feminine side of his nature. Yes, I'm sure. What? He wants to be called Phyllis? Oh, <laughs> that does change things a little. So, so, what's, so what's upsetting you, Doreen? What, what's upsetting you about this all? Oh, <laughs> he, he's looking better than you. <laughs> oh, Doreen... Oh, don't, don't put yourself down. No. What do you mean? <laughs> you got wolf whistled at by a lorry driver the other day and you got ignored. Oh, oh, oh what a shame. Oh, dear. Oh, it's a passing phase. He'll grow out of it. Or not. <laughs> that could be the interesting thing. Oh, things could change completely. It'll be the lovely Doreen and the even lovelier Phyllis. <laughs> oh, well, you never know, do you? Things happen. Doreen, Doreen, is that, is that Bernard, uh, Phyllis? Oh, <laughs> over there with, my goodness, is that a blonde wig? Oh, oh, look at the makeup. That's scary. Oh, uh, Do Doreen, Do Doreen, Doreen, Doreen. Oh, she's gone. Never <laughs> mind. I'm sure she will return very soon. Now, oh, oh, such a lot has happened. Such a lot. Oh, again, all sorts of interesting and lovely things have happened. Oh, oh, where do I, where shall the, blah, 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 blah. honestly, honestly, I'm so excited. I just can't speak. I just can't, blah, 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 blah. what's all that? What's all that? You see, my tongue is, is running all the words together. Mm -hmm. I usually have, I usually have quite a, quite an, <laughs> an agile tongue. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, I do. Agile. I can normally get words out and, and things. Very good. And take the, take the top off jars with my tongue. <laughs> Lash people around the chops with it. <laughs> oh, hang on. Who's that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I see, I see, gothic horror, gothic horror podcast, Dave. <laughs> I, I think he's, he's escaped, he's got out of the dungeon again. <laughs> what do you do to him in there, Dave? God, all that screaming. <laughs> oh, oh dear, oh dear.
Oh, we might go and see the house later. Ah, uh, yes. It's, it's, it's shrouded in darkness. It is still shrouded in bats and darkness. And screaming figures. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I haven't seen him recently. Oh, well, last time we saw him, he was moaning and clanking. Moaning and clanking. No, I haven't seen any moaning and clanking. We might see, we might see him. Oh, he might be a, he might be a gothic horror spectre this time. Spectre. That's a good word, isn't it? Spectre. Mmm. Ghost. Spectres. Ghoulies. Oh, no. <laughs> Ghostly ghoulies. Oh, Oh, God, something's fallen off. Hang on a second. Oh, <laughs> I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. <laughs> You're all reassured to know that it wasn't my ghoulie dropping off. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I dropped my glasses. I dropped my glasses. I, I'm just all of a quiver. All of a quiver. All of a jibber. Let's make this podcast fun. Well, oh, <laughs> that was successful. I like that song. Oh, where, are, where are we now? Dancing on the driveway in a boob tube and glitter. <sighs> Call myself Brenda. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, it's been such fun lately. Such fun, such fun, such fun. Now, who else have I seen lately? Oh, ah, mm, I saw the lovely scintillating Sylvia the, the other day. I did, I did, I did. Um, Sylvia of the massive frock. <laughs> we must remember Sylvia. Oh, the last time she came into my little room. Oh, dear. It was full of frock. I couldn't breathe for frock. Frock everywhere. Frock, frock, frock. Lovely, lovely. Oh, dear. And who else? Ah, uh, Big Elsie. Big Elsie. Ah, uh, yes. Last time I saw Big Elsie, she was hurling rocks about. Hurling rocks about, she was, in the garden. <laughs> Doing a bit of landscaping. Ooh, just getting out, of the, getting out of the land and giving it a damn good shake with her teeth. <laughs> oh, she's a big girl, is Elsie. Elsie, big girl, big girl. Oh, hmm. What else? Oh, nah, mm, Elsie doesn't throw things at me anymore. No, we've come to a truce, a truce, where things are, things are more even between us now. She just swears at me. <laughs> no, she doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't. I'm making that up. Oh. Oh, I see she's got a lovely, lovely new tattoo. Of course she's got the tattoos of love and hate on her knuckles. <laughs> Very lovely. <clears throat> Don't think so. But she's also got this, this new tattoo oh, of, a, of a, a skull on her arm. Oh, a skull eating a dragon. Oh, yes, it's all, it's all going down one arm it is. Oh, and when she flexes her bicep, oh, the skull moves about. Ooh, scary stuff, scary stuff. Oh, it could almost, it's almost gothic. Oh, it almost ties in with, with, with gothic horror Dave. Oh, well, who would have thought? It's almost scripted. It's almost linked. <laughs> that cannot be true. <laughs> I thought I just made all this up. <laughs> right, moving on, moving on, moving on. What's next? Oh, yes. I thought I'd have a little, little, little wander around the village. Oh, look at the golden light, the golden light cascading onto the garden centre over there, which means, of course, that my friend Andrea, the garden centre cafe stunner, is in residence. God, look at them, look at them. You can see all the feathers sticking out, all those angels fighting to get in there. <laughs> you all right, Andrea? Yes, you're fighting your way through. Loads of angels. No room for anybody else. It's full of angels. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Hope you're well. Hope you're well. Ah! What was that? What was that? What was that shrieking noise? What was that shrieking noise? Oh, oh, I think it's one of the banshees. The banshees connected to Gothic Horror Dave. <laughs> ah, I, I am a Bathsheba banshee. Ah, mm, yes, I am. <laughs> I have a t-shirt. I have a badge. <laughs> oh, Apparently, apparently, one of the one of the the benefits of being a Bathsheba Banshee these days is that I can I can shriek I can shriek my name whenever it's full moon. <laughs> I tried shrieking the other day, but of course it wasn't a full moon, so I had to satisfy myself with shrieking in a cupboard. I did. I shrieked in a cupboard. wasn't the same as shrieking over the rooftops. I must say. Also, 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 one of the benefits of being a Bathsheba Banshee is that I can walk unmolested through the silk cotton trees. <laughs> I didn't realise this, of course. 
<laughs> I tried. I tried going down there with my signs, which is <laughs> available for molesting on one sign, and I give good molesting, bracket, reasonable, reasonable rates, close bracket, on the other sign. I got no trade whatsoever. Obviously, that's the reason why. <laughs> dear, oh dear. <laughs> right, move away from the idea of trade. Move away, move away. <laughs> I'm moving away. Um, the the cause of this this podcast thing show thing I'm doing um, has stirred up all sorts of all sorts of all sorts of memories. Not least um, memories of of particular particular music I used to listen to when I was at art college and more many moons ago. And I, oh, strange, isn't it? How you forget, forget things, and then you suddenly, you suddenly think about them again, and you try them again. And you think, oh my goodness, how fantastic is that? Oh, how did I ever forget? How did I ever forget? And then you go through the whole back catalogue of these these things, and you play them all again. Oh, it's fabulous! Oh, I put two um, images onto my Instagram page of favourites <laughs> uh, from my art college days. Oh, one of them was um, the Cocteau Twins, of course, of course, the Cocteau Twins. Um, the, the, the album I put on there is Treasure. I think it was from 1984. But oh my goodness, what a thing, what a thing. Oh, Elizabeth Fraser, what a voice. Oh, oh, oh it's wonderful, wonderful. I imagine, however, it's not for everyone. I can just hear the voices. Oh, God, turn that off. God, I can't stand it. Oh, what's she saying? What's she saying? It's rubbish. But I don't care. I love it. I love it. I'm playing it all the time now. So everyone's get heartily sick of it. <laughs> oh, oh, the other one, the other one I used to play a lot of was uh, David Sylvian and the associated his associated group Japan well, and Raintree Crow. But um, oh, it was... Wonderful, wonderful. David Sylvian is a genius, a complete genius, complete genius. Oh, oh, and the, the, the one thing that I put on there, I put a, an image of David Sylvian and the song is um, called Praise. Now, he arranged it and, and the, the produced the music in the background, but the, the vocals are performed by um, Shri Ma and the song is a, it, is a Hindi praise song called Prata Smarami. Oh, it's just fantastic. Oh, God, I listen to it. I tend to listen to it. Um, last thing, you can listen to it anytime, but I, I love listening to it in bed with my headphones on with a complete, the sound is, my head is full of sound and it's just the voice. And oh, God, it's lovely. Oh, it is. It's just lovely. Oh, takes me away. It's very transcendental. It's wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Oh, so I've been listening to that a lot. Oh dear, it's just one. I'm going through the back catalogue of David Sylvian stuff. Oh, it's very. Oh, and I discussed this with, you know, Andrea, the Garden Centre Cafe Stunner, because we used to listen to it a lot. We used to work together in design consultancy. We did. We did. We did. We used to work together, and she reminded me we used to. We used when we was working, perhaps late in the evening. We used to play music that we wanted. Um, that no one else wanted, but we wanted. And we used to play Enya and cry. <laughs> Imagine sitting there sobbing to Enya. <laughs> but we did. Oh, we played oh, Secrets of the Beehive, uh, David Sylvian. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. I just love it all. Oh, wonderful. If you get a chance, if you get a chance, give the praise song a try. Oh, in the quiet moments, just just play it. It's glorious. You'll love it. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Oh, hello, Doreen. Oh, you're back. Hello. How are you? And how is Bernard slash Phyllis these days? <laughs> uh, oh, you'd rather he was called Bernard, but he'd rather he was called Phyllis. OK. OK, I don't mind. I don't mind. Whatever you like. Whatever you like, Doreen. Whatever you like. I just don't want you to be upset. Okay. Oh, Debbie, Debbie, what? what what's up with Debbie? What's up with Debbie? Oh, what was that, Doreen? 
Debbie's got a boyfriend? What? Since when? I thought Debbie was a boy. Well, anyway, Debbie's got a boyfriend. What well, who's that then? <coughs> that's a cow. I'm sorry, but that's a cow. That's a cow. Debbie's boyfriend is a cow. What? Oh, okay. And what? 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 What is this? This lovely, charming, charming, lovely, charming cow called. This charming cow is called what? <laughs> Cecil. I've no idea. Charlie. <laughs> Cynthia. <laughs> no idea. Cynthia the cow. No. Well, I can't imagine. I can't imagine what what on earth is going on there. So, Debbie has got a boyfriend, and that boyfriend is a cow called Cynthia. <laughs> How nice. Well, isn't that lovely? Well, isn't that lovely? I'm sure that relationship will blossom. Blossom, it will. Blossom. I'm sure it will. <laughs> I'm sure we'll, we'll hear lots more about Debbie and Cynthia. <laughs> what fun. Ah, oh, I think it's probably about time to for me to call an end to this rubbish, this <laughs> this meaningless drivel, this 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 this. <laughs> How many times can one person say this without knowing what's coming next? <laughs> you see, you see, that's the drawback. You see, that's the drawback of not having a script, not having a script. I'm sitting here making making it up, and now I've lost my thread completely. And I don't know where I am, uh, what I'm doing. Never mind. Oh, I suppose all it comes down to is me to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you for listening. Um, please tune in again, tune tune in again um, to see uh, what happens in the th- next thrilling instalment of the. Tall Thin Idiot Podcast. With me, your host, Kevin Green. <laughs> Never knowingly undersold. That's me. That's me. <laughs> oh, I can hear it now. Oh, shut up. Get off. Yeah, yeah, just milking it. Get off. All right, then. I'll go now. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. This has been another tall. Thin Idiot Production. I can hear you out there going, Oh, no more! No more! Please! No more! (laughs) Uh, I'm sorry. There probably will be. (laughs) Probably, probably will be. Well, I mean, we have to know what happens to Debbie and Cynthia and everything else that goes on in that world. We can only hope that that world improves from the shocking state of affairs we leave it in today. So until next time, please share the love. Whatever that is, just share it. Have fun. Peace, love and light to you all. Take care. Bye bye.